Hello and welcome, my name is Gareth and uh, today I'm going to show you a small uh, motor controller that we make. Um, this is uh, um, a picture of it and uh, this one that you can probably hear in the background is controlling um, a bipolar stepper motor um, and this one is rated for up to 2 amps. Um, on the chip we have um, an ARM Cortex M4 and an Allegro um, stepper motor controller. A couple, there's a couple of unique things uh, about this controller. One of it, one of them, is the um, the ability to uh, control how the motor accelerates. So we use um, what's called an S curve, which is a little bit unusual in this industry. A lot of people um, uh, don't do this because it's a fairly complex. The equation is 1 over 1 plus e to the minus a t and the uh, the cortex um, doesn't actually have a uh, uh, an, uh, an arithmetic logic unit on it so calculating an exponential is uh, very expensive in software so we actually use um, a lookup table um, so we, we um, uh, digitize this ahead of time so we can look it up but it's nice the um, the uh, motor that we're controlling right now is actually uh, turning a valve and uh, it's actually a bit of a side project that uh, we used in the past. It's, it takes a fair amount of torque to turn this so we have it geared down quite a bit um, and, and you might be able to tell from the sound of this that it actually starts off accelerating quite slowly and then speeds up and then slows down on the deceleration side. Um, this uh, project was actually uh, to use I meant to use a uh, flow controller, which um, we'll discuss in another video. Um, the other thing about this um, uh, board is that it lets you store a, uh, a little program on it. So you can, you can unplug it from the computer. Right now we're hooked to an old netbook uh, running IAR, uh, the embedded uh, uh, development suite. I'll just show you uh, quickly the uh, current program that we are using on this uh, on this motor. Um, it's written in a C-like language, and it uh, we parse it with uh, Flex and Bison, which are the the GNU equivalents of Lex and Yak. And uh, the program, if you're somewhat familiar with C, it always you enter with main, and we have a couple of variables, and we have a while loop that we just stay in forever and uh, you can see this is just sitting in a big while loop. Um, if the counter is zero then we uh, move it by uh, 144 degrees um, in one direction and if the counter is not zero we move it uh, back the other way. So it's just oscillating back and forth. You could actually um, uh, use this board to um, say implement uh, a controller so that uh, uh, you could feed say uh, the flow control from this um, coming out of this valve into uh, an analog to digital converter on the board and then use it um, to implement a PID uh, proportional integral differential controller on this board. The um, workflow looks a little bit like this. It's uh, you write the program, which is is um, this that we just saw, and you feed it into a compiler. The compiler was uh, developed uh, using Flex and Bison. Um, the uh, 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 Flex was actually originally developed uh, as Lex, and uh, Eric Schmidt, who's one of the um, uh, people at Google, actually ended up uh, writing that back in 1975, I think. Um, that compiler generates an abstract uh, syntax tree and a symbol table. You don't really need to know these details, but um, there are two files that can be inspected. And then that information is uh, physically downloaded um, over a cable. It's, uh, this happens to be a USB cable, uh, a micro AB, and um, it goes into the serial port of the ARM and you can store it in non-volatile memory on the arm so that the motor starts up with that program when you power it up. 
Um, so that's just a, a very brief introduction to the uh, our device. Um, email me at embeddedcontrollers at yahoo.com if you have any further questions. Uh, we're actually, we've got a number of projects on, on the go here and uh, be very interested to hear uh, from, from you and uh, see what your input is. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.